A UNESCO panel has begun its initial examination into including a set of documents relating to the 1937 Nanjing Massacre and Japan's wartime use of sex slaves in its memory of the world program. The decision is expected to be made this week. Sun Jong-in has more. The Nanjing Massacre was one of the darkest events of the 20th century. Over 300,000 Chinese men, women and children were slaughtered by Japanese troops in the city of Nanjing in 1937. In June of last year, the Chinese government submitted an application to enlist on UNESCO's Memory of the World program 11 sets of documents related to the massacre and the issue of about 200,000 sex slaves, mostly Koreans, used by Japanese soldiers before and during World War II. On Sunday, the UNESCO International Advisory Committee opened a meeting in the United Arab Emirates to examine them and 90 other nominations for documentary heritage enlistment. Due to the sensitivity of the issue, the advisory members were reluctant to give any details. We have been told not to comment on anything. Really? <laughs> Ask her. Oh. UNESCO. No, 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 we cannot comment we cannot. anything. Oh. Until we finish Sorry. the... UNESCO's director general will make a final approval based on the result of the panel discussion. I believe that you all have uh, some responsibilities to carry out today. Japan has lodged a protest against the move and asked China to withdraw the nomination, questioning the authenticity of the materials. Amid rising tension between the two countries, the international panel is expected to announce its decision later in the week. Son Jong-in, Arirang News.